This is another illustration for Black History Month. My series is called Black is Beautiful, and this one's about Margaret Sloan Hunter. Hope you enjoy. Before I tell you about the subject's history, let me describe the art process. First, I research the figure or the person or the place extensively, write down notes, and then do a sketch with blue pencil and then a regular number two pencil. After that, I add an outline with a color pencil, usually using a light box, and then I will slowly put watercolor for this series using only two colors, red and blue, and I will slowly build that up until I'm satisfied with the painting. Margaret Sloan Hunter was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee in 1947. She grew up in Chicago and started a career in activism early. As a teenager, she joined the Congress for Racial Equality, otherwise known as CORE. She co-founded a student group called the Junior Catholic Interracial Council to get black and white students her age to unite. She then joined the SCLC, or Southern Christian Leadership Council. Then she gravitated towards spaces where women could construct their own organizations free from male domination, even within movement circles. She was a driving force for the creation of Ms. Magazine, the first national magazine on feminist viewpoints, in 1971 and became one of the first editors. She spoke around the country and internationally, linking up with black women who identified as such and as feminists to found the National Black Feminist Organization. She moved to the Bay Area where she helped found the Berkeley Women's Center and the Feminist School for Girls. She was a mother, a poet, a singer, an author, and a self-proclaimed black lesbian feminist. She spoke about coming out as being a black lesbian feminist, saying that before she identified as a feminist or as a lesbian, she believed in some of the negative stereotypes from society and the ignorant things that people would say. She wanted to put some of those preconceived notions to rest and when speaking about popular media that she felt starved for representation for women like her. She died in Oakland, California in 2004. Some of the sources I got the information from was a website called Black Women Radicals, Lesbians, The Visible, Invisible Minority, San Francisco Gate Newspaper, The Feminist Majority, Wikipedia, and Bust Magazine. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.